Hey guys, it's Sierra from Flora Fantastica, and today we're going to chop and prop our cute little Monstera Peru. Alright, so I would like this plant to be bushier. In order to get it bushier, I am going to cut it and propagate the part that I cut. And part of the reason why I'm deciding to do that right now is because I have an aerial root right. We have put it against my face. See that? There it is. There it is. All right, so I've got a blurry aerial root right here. And um, because it's kind of a fresh root, um, this plant will propagate a lot faster if I take this top cutting now before this root hardens. So I'm going to cut it and propagate it, and you're gonna watch. Great. <laughs> All right, so here you can see the node clearly and the aerial root. So I'm gonna cut with my sterilized uh, razor right here. I'm gonna cut at the base of this node. So the node's here, there's a little line. There's my aerial root, and I'm gonna cut at the base right before the next um, leaf is coming out. So right here. And you can cut at an angle, or you can cut straight across. The main thing is that you're using something really sharp, and that if you are using a razor blade, that you do not cut yourself. So, there's my cut. Like I said, this is a really fresh aerial root, and so I should have a lot of success with that. Also, it's a top cutting. Look at how shiny that is. You're so shiny. Wow. Um, did you know that actually greenhouses put um, like this stuff on the leaves to make them shiny? Isn't that weird? Ooh, that's a nice shot. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, so the older leaves are not super shiny, but the new leaves are so shiny. It's almost like I sprayed it, but I didn't. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we're going to propagate this guy. Okay, so uh, we've got our cutting, and we don't know what to do. And we're like, what do we do? Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can do this for this for this time, I'm going to add some uh, LECA at the bottom of this cup, and all that's gonna do is uh, make it so that I can put in some liquid dirt, like this, glug, glug, glug. Okay, so I've got my liquid dirt, I've got my LECA, um, put a little bit more, yay. And I also soaked, you can't see it, I soaked my moss in liquid dirt. So, I'm convinced this is gonna speed up the process a lot. So, I'm gonna squeeze the moss out really well. Like, after I squeeze it, I'm gonna squeeze it again because it needs to be squeezed that much. And I'm gonna make sure that when I'm putting it in the cup, I'm breaking it up really well because sometimes you just like shove it in the cup and what that does is it makes the moss too compact and you just don't want things to rot, especially when they're expensive. So this isn't a crazy expensive plant, but it's expensive enough, you know? So uh, make sure your moss is really squeezed out, pulled apart, it's not chunky. And if you, like literally, you can just add some rocks to the bottom or perlite. You can mix the perlite in with the moss. That would help too. Um, the liquid dirt is just going to help get things going a little bit faster. And just try to stand that guy up like so. And yeah, I mean, um, if you have a humid place, put this plant in the humid place. Um, it can go into a uh, plastic container and then um, that's clear and near bright light. Um, you could also put it into a opaque container with a grow light in it. That's another way to do it. 
this is basically what it looks like. It's so pretty. So the roots should grow pretty fast on this one. Um, alternatively, this is totally fine to just stick in water. This plant's gonna root really well in water and um, the chance of it rotting is pretty low compared to like a Monstera albo. So that's pretty much it. I will, I think it's fun to see updates on how these plants are growing. So you're not really supposed to disturb your plants when they're propagating, but I always do. So um, I will be taking this plant out and looking at the roots and showing you just how far along it's come um, over the next coming month. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.